This is Emily. Emily's 18. <laughs> Emily has two phobias. Two. One of them we've seen here once before. She's afraid of cotton. She's, she's also afraid of plastic foam. You know those little things you get in the boxes, you know? The peanut foam. You know, we all use cotton every day. How can you get a, how can you live without using cotton? But did something happen with the cotton? I don't know how it started. It's been did like this. Did you kind of get stuck in your ear or something when you were cleaning out your ear? Nothing. It's, it's been like this for as long as I can remember. All she wants to do is live like a normal person. Watch. Cotton absolutely makes me 100% terrified. The way it feels and what happens when I think about it, it gets to the point where I feel like I'm having a panic attack. I also cannot stand the sound and the texture of the foam. And it's gotten so bad to the point where I can't open up my own mail. The sound of foam makes my skin crawl. And it makes the room feel like it's closing in on me. The fact that I get made fun of for it, it makes the pain so much worse than it already is. <laughs> People think that my fear of cotton balls is a joke. But it's more real to me than anything else. It's enough to ruin your life. Have you ever used a Q-tip? It's been forever since I have. I can't do it. When was the last time you opened up a bottle of aspirin? It's been years. I have to deal with my own headaches if I have no one around. You just have to deal with it. You won't go in and pull out the cotton no, from a aspirin tablet. I can't. Do you work? Yes. You don't work in a cotton factory, do you? No. <laughs> I work in a coffee shop. And we, well, wait a second. There's, there aren't there boxes of, of well, peanuts? When we get deliveries in, I have to have somebody else open up the packages for me. Okay. All right. Okay. You know you've got to confront your phobia now. This is the famous Maury Show Cotton Ball Man. <laughs> Emily. Emily! <laughs> Emily! <laughs> Bring her back here. Emily, come here. There's nobody up here. There's nobody up here. Okay, you saw the worst part. You saw it all. You don't like them either. You don't like cotton balls. All right, everybody. Boris Cherniak is a magician. He is our guy. He is a motivational hypnotist. <laughs> now what's going to happen, I just want to prepare everybody, Boris is going to spend a good deal of time with these people. And you won't see it on TV because in our next segment we will find out whether any of these guests have been helped. Right, Boris? Right. Maury, the fears are real. Uh, they are. I'm here to help, but it's a matter of living their lives and live it to the fullest, and that's why you're here. Right. <laughs> their fears were controlling their lives. In fact, all of them jumped out of their seats here when confronted with the things that they feared the most. So we put them in the hands of motivational hypnotist Boris Cherniak for several hours, and here's what's happened. After years of frustration, pain, and torment, the time has finally come for these women to combat their crippling fears. The man responsible for curing these extreme phobias is motivational hypnotist Boris Cherniak. Each one of you will be able to take all of your fears and remove them completely. That fear is all gone. Very shortly, your eyes will close, your body will collapse, and you'll drift off into a deep, deep sleep. Emily, take a deep breath. And deep asleep now. Deep asleep now. Deep asleep now. Once the women were placed into a deep trance and completely in tune with his every command, Boris performed several intense hypnotic processes aimed at memory replacement and positive reinforcement. From this point on, whatever that fear may have been, we have erased it. You are absolutely fine with no matter what it is. Karen, I want you to stretch out your hand. 
and imagine a bird right on top of that finger. Go ahead and stroke that bird with your other hand. And when I wake you up, you are ready to face your fear. You're able to do whatever you want to because from this point on, the fears are gone. Wide awake, all of you, now. Have they conquered their fears once and for all? God! Everybody, welcome Boris back to the show. Where's Boris? Here he is. Bring Boris out. So, Boris, was it was this difficult? You know what? Each one of these people uh, on stage are absolutely marvelous. It wasn't that difficult. Some people will take a little bit longer. Some people will take a little bit shorter. And it's just taking the minds, molding them. So it's it's now time to find out if Boris was able to change these guests. Now, does everybody first of all remember Karen? Now, Karen, she had a fear of birds. Didn't matter. It could have been a little bird. It could have been a Tweety bird. It could have been a pigeon. It could have been that big bird that we brought out here on the show. So, is Karen cured? We're going to bring out some birds, Karen. I think okay. we're ready. Let's bring them out. You ready? There we go. Just, just go ahead. Did you think this was ever, ever possible before now? No. You're so pretty. It's pretty, too. Yeah. You think the bird's pretty? Yeah. Wow. Congratulations. Thank you so much. <laughs> Look at her. This might be the most bizarre and the most difficult. There's Emily. Emily could barely sit in her seat when she talked about not one, but two of her fears. A plastic foam. You know those things, the peanuts you get in the boxes? And cotton, particularly cotton balls. Cotton ball man. <laughs> Emily. So is she cured? We're going to bring out the cotton ball man. Here it is. <laughs> Shake hands. Yes, yes, yes. Uh -huh. There we go. Thank you very much. Good to see you. Oh I hope God. I never see you again. You did it. Emily, can you imagine it? You think you'll go for an aspirin bottle now? Yeah, and I, think I, can deal, I think I can deal with it. <laughs> you can deal with it. Okay. Now, Diane. You remember Diane? She Wait was a second, Maury. Uh, she wasn't able to say stuff, wasn't she? Oh, she couldn't even say the word. Bring them out. Bring them out. out. <laughs> where? Where? Ah! Before it even comes what out. Box. What? What a box. <laughs> it, was, it was so bad, she got her daughter all upset, and then her daughter began to get scared of things. <laughs> now, with daughter, you know, we thought Ronnie was a support mechanism. I don't think so. She was a, <laughs> she was a fellow victim. <laughs> so did we cure Diane and Ronnie's phobia? Let's bring out the warden. You can do it. Okay. Can you do it? Well, I can tap on the thing. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, oh, my God. Yeah. Ronnie, how about you? Okay. I'll hold All it. All right, and she I'll tap. Take it out. Take it out. What, not. are you kidding? <laughs> You're holding it. Oh, no. You're doing it all <laughs> by your... <laughs> oh, no, we're not going that far. Thank you very much. Wow. What do you think? Good. 
Good job. You think you'll go out of the house now? Yes. You are not the fire. <gasps>